I am pleased to welcome back to the program Nunzio Sisto, who is the program director at the Palm Springs Cultural Center, specifically for music. Absolutely. And you guys have been going strong all summer long. We were just talking about this. I think you guys have really uh, paved the way for other organizations. You have great attendance because there are a lot of people here in the summer who want to get out and do things, and you're providing them that outlet. Absolutely. We are dispelling the myth that Palm Springs goes to, or the Coachella Valley goes to sleep during the summer. Uh, for our inaugural Chamber Series event, we had about 96 to 100 attendants for a harpsichord concert on July 26th. So I think that really says something, and the response that we've gotten from uh, people is, you know, we want live music, we want programming, and so we're providing it. Well, I think live music in particular draws a lot of people in. And, and the folks who are here year-round, and we have a lot of year-rounders, I know mm -hmm. some people shuffle off to their snowbird locations, but a lot of people here who not only want but need uh, services and programs, and you guys are filling that niche and doing it very well. What's coming up next? Um, so next on our chamber series, we have a woodwind quartet that's playing on August 9th, and then we have a string duo on August 23rd and September 9th is our harp concert, and we go early music, classical, romantic, 20th century. So we're trying to give you the whole gamut of classical music, and that's just one small part of our programming. We also have Keisha D on Sundays. We have uh, Mon Petit, which is an extremely talented musician, and if you want to see some groundbreaking live music, I would highly suggest coming to Monday night, and then, of course, Liana on Tuesday, um, providing just some amazing jazz. We also have some other shows. If you go to our website and look uh, for Come On Up or the CV Philharmonic series, you could see our complete listing of all our offerings. Mon Petit has been on when they first came to the Cultural Center to do, it was really a pop-up experience, yep. but obviously so well received that it became a residency. Yeah. And of course, Keisha D, who, do, uh, who does so much for this community, she's remarkable and uh, she has continued her uh, programming throughout the summer and uh, and I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too soon but in uh, regards to Keisha D we may be seeing her do a big floor show in our theater one um, I've heard some rumors that she may be doing a Tina Turner based concert uh, and just to see her level of artistry put on the big stage and allowing her to have that experience and to bring that to the public we're very excited to really start pushing the envelope there and moving towards much bigger floor shows at the Cultural Center. Okay, so that is going to be something we'll look forward in the future. Right now, though, this programming is taking place upstairs, uh, much of the programming. And what I like about this is it's sort of an intimate atmosphere. You've got a bar. It's sort of a very nice lounge setup where folks can come and enjoy the music and be up close and personal with these musicians. Absolutely, and one of the most underrated restaurants in the Coachella Valley. Um, That's right, not just a bar, but it's great food as well. Absolutely, Mildred's Cafe. Um, uh, we have to give a lot of credit to our chef who's been there for almost, I think, 10 years. And uh, that's one of the best kept secrets is we really have some good food and amazing prices. So you get that aspect of having dinner and then with a seven piece band like we have for Liana and Keisha D. And the lounge starts at five o'clock, runs through 730. It is at the Palm Springs Cultural Center located at the Camelot Theater. Really encourage you to go and check out all of the various programming. You can go to psculturalcenter.org. And uh, check for the link for CV Philharmonic for all of our chamber music series. We're offering the concerts at $15, which is our subscription rate. And um, we're also offering tickets for free for parents and students so that they can come and experience that in their hometown. So if you'd like to sign up for a subscription, um, we'd love to see some more subscriptions they're already selling. And then for our upstairs music, it's under Come On Up. That's our title for our series on the second floor. So come on, come on up and enjoy it. Absolutely. Uh, Nunzio, always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you so much. You as well, Patrick.